So then we are back with more understandings from the time of the second tabernacle services where we find the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzaelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end as per Yeshayahu the prophet. We find layers of understanding of the spring feast, the autumn feast and also the returning of the holy cities of the Hamashiach laid waste from many centuries. As we read in Yeshayahu the prophet, it's very important explaining the time of the restoration period, the time of the spring feast, the time of the autumn feast, and why then is the world in such a precarious situation not only from the moral standpoint but then the economic military and what's going on in the world why then the Holy Scripture is placed aside so then our country roughly a hundred years ago there was a completely other type of lifestyle that was then lived. It is amazing the more the society is pushed into the future the worse the situation gets. Now then many portions of the scripture as it was then translated a lot of the important information from the culture unfortunately it was lost now let's say for the moment that sections of the instructions and also the prophets for instance these prophecies were related a portion with the culture of the time. For instance, the great tribulation, as so many people talk, is it truly a time of tribulation? Or is it a time of discovery of the information from the original manuscripts? Now then, the Holy Scripture, from the Hebrew or Aramaic standpoint, mostly Hebrew, gave the Scripture in a certain way from the original presence of the Divine. Now then, let's say for the moment, people forgot how the culture was back then when the scripture was recorded what was then from the point that the culture from the original manuscripts were lost not lost from the fact that it is no longer in existence is lost from the standpoint of writing the scripture in a secular way. We know that the Hebrew culture yet exists. However, the translation does not. So then, there is a factor regarding the scripture as this word tribulation is it truly a tribulation from the standpoint of the translated document or the personal situation of every individual learning what was the culture back then many centuries ago and the way the divine explained 
the plans for a life of walk with the Holy and Divine Presence. Now then, the point of the whole situation is there is an economic problem in the world, a transitional time in the world. There are preparations for the time of the autumn feast as per the schedule of Vaikra, the 23rd chapter. And this schedule is dependent upon data from where then the events, each step of the events must take place. Now, understandably, when the scripture is related with the Gentiles, there is a layer that depends upon data. Now then, when it relates with the set-apart of his own original people, it was already given the instructions and the practicing of tabernacling. This was revealed. Now then, tribulation. These are words from the Hamashiach ben Yosef explained in Metichayahu. And understandably, in the 24th chapter, in the 21st verse, obviously, people understand at least a great number of people that there are no chapters and no verses in the original manuscript. Person must understand the layers related with the content. An analysis of content must be made so then the understanding then becomes complete. Now then when the scriptures were translated they placed chapters and numbers so then people could at least have an idea because of a Gentile way of thinking and then it would help them understand where a portion of these scripture was located at though it's not in chronological order it's simply a number But then as a simple reference of a chapter and number was given, so then some of the teachings were easier to explain. Now then, tribulation, rapture, and those types of situations, do we find these in the original manuscripts? That's the whole situation. Every portion of the New Testament must have a line with the original manuscripts. Each and every section, paragraph, understanding, layer. Now then, the tribulation period, rapture period, some say pre-tribulational time, post-tribulational time. Where do we find these in the original manuscripts from the prophets? So then, obviously lacks the culture. The point of the situation of tribulation then it's more of discovery of what the scripture in its original form meant. Regarding tabernacling there is not truly nothing new. The point is people were so indoctrinated in translations without the culture, without the proper understanding, without the proper structuring of the Torah 
and the prophets and the writings that they are reading a translation for so long that they have concocted theories from what they think the tribulation should be now then Daniel as a reference point explains that his people would roam the earth for a period of time the Shabbat was not being practiced for a long time now Shabbat and tabernacle they are very much linked together now then if the substitution of sacrifices were made why people then are no longer obedient why do they have more hunger for sin though an escape was provided now then tribulation simply does not mean that the people are going through a period where then people cannot have trade they can buy or they can making transactions there's nothing to do with it the Hebrew text is very clear regarding the time of the autumn feast now then when there is a situation of rapture rapture from what situation rapture from persecution the scriptures were already given tabernacling was given the parameters were given what kind of a rapture are they speaking of tabernacling is the very presence of the divine in this sinful world then comes the point what is heaven what can we compare tribulation and heaven and then rapture how come these people made a such distinction from heaven tribulation and then rapture there is one problem in the midst of these the original manuscripts now then as the original manuscripts are explained is not the point of understanding a tribulation period is understanding how much they have not learned regarding the original portions of the scripture what they taught was an obsolete religion ended up the main core of the whole understanding of the divine so then where in the scripture is talking of tribulation is that Matichiahu 24 21 what then the Mashiach is explaining what does it mean and if those days were not shortened not any flesh would live but because of the chosen those days will be shortened from the standpoint of the original manuscript can the divine reduce the timing set to the prophets
Now then, shortening of time, as if the prophecies are spoken of by the prophets, could change. And we know for sure they can't. So there is an obvious problem with the translation. And when the translations, they do not show forth what the original is explaining, then generates pictures in our minds. And these pictures in our minds of reduction, the first perception is there is a shortening of time. Now then the scriptures are not saying shortening of time. Because no person can tamper with the prophecies. Otherwise the counting of the events as per the instructions of Vaikra, they wouldn't be in line with the content of the prophets. Now let's say for the moment the person and translated didn't understand what the prophet was saying. He doesn't change the divinity. It doesn't change the understanding of salvation. It simply helps us understanding the translator didn't realize he's not talking of the reduction of days or timing. Because the scripture, they cannot be changed. Now, there are portions related with a character. And there are portions related with the timing. But the analysis of this particular section, it's not truly a tribulational period. It's a rediscovery of how far people were from the original culture and understanding of the holy manuscripts. So the tribulation is inside of the people when they understand the original manuscripts. It's not that it's going to come a time where people for some reason are going to and fro. Now if the scripture translator hasn't worked thus far, is it going to work in the future? Most families are busted, our economy is busted. Now how much further the translation should go until comes the complete ruin? So how much she been Joseph? Obviously, during this period of time, he was involved with many teachings regarding the completion of the Spring Feast. Now, when people are not familiar with the Spring Feast, once again, they have no structuring. And it is amazing, people, they sing in those religious establishments, you know, any other thing is sinking sand or ground or but then when they make an analysis of the scripture what is then the Ramashi is explaining do we have an understanding of what he's saying as far as the period of time known as the spring feast There is. People are not familiar with the culture. And 
and the abstract mind reads as some sort of a chronological order where their best that they can do won't be enough in the future. That's then the understanding of tribulation. Whatsoever they try later on is going to get harder. I mean, it's got nothing to do what they can do or cannot do. It's the discovery of the original plans from the divine. And how far away the people were from these manuscripts. Now then, and the days then shall be shortened. So then is the scripture implying that then the divine is going to shorten the period of time of the holy prophets? That wouldn't be true. Now then the reduction of time is simply a period of history that the prophet sees are going to take place fast. So from the counting of the time of the prophet there was never reduced neither extended. When you observe a line of time and many prophecies taking place very quickly it gives you the understanding of reduction. But we understand it's not a reduction of time. It is the period of the time of the end where then many layers of what the prophets said would take place very fastly. Now, from the standpoint of a Gentile mind, when a person doesn't study the original manuscript, ah, simple reduction of prophecy, simple reduction of time. But they never study any further, they don't understand, he can't, he can't reduce time from the prophecy. So the other way of understanding the scripture is, a period of time as a whole in sections of the instructions and the prophecies taking place as if you had the prophecies in a jar and then you have comparison with candies in the uh, jar for every hundred years you take a candy from a jar it's going to give you some understanding how long it's going to take for the jar to become empty now in a short period of time if you take 10 or 20 candies the prophecies are going to take place much faster in a shorter period of time but it's not the time that it was reduced Simple wisdom. Now then, the divine was very clear in every aspect of the original manuscripts. So then, then rapture. This situation must have more time for the explanation because it involves tabernacle. And not very many people understand what tabernacle means. So please stay tuned much more coming up.